Hi everyone, welcome to Lake Media Game Night Film Study Week 3. I'm Rance Berger alongside Kai Raymer. Kai, this past Friday night, three of the four Lake of the Ozarks High Schools victorious on the gridiron. We kick things off with the 2-0 School of the Osage Indians. Osage taking on Moberly and unlike their game against Fulton, this one was much tougher for the Indians. A bit of a defensive battle, but Osage came out on top 20 to 8. The Indians actually fell behind in the game, but led by McNer Dylan McNerdy and Cody Mayer, they rallied to win. Uh, Osage now 2-0 and are, is actually state ranked now. They're up to number 9 in Class 3. And up next, the Indians will take on Blair Oaks. And many players on Osage, both players and coaches, know about the rivalry. Uh, Cody Mayer is one Indian in particular that's looking forward to the matchup with the Falcons. It's been, I don't even know, 11, 12, 13 years since we've even beat them. So every year we're gonna, we come out as hard as we can, but this year's going to be different. Our seniors are, are pumped for this season. We don't want, you know, we don't want this season to end anytime soon. And we're going to play every game as it is our last game, you know. So we're going to play our hearts out and, and uh, we're going to go out there and win the football game and do our best. Speaking of anticipated matchups, Camdenson is traveling to Lebanon for a game that's kind of become a rivalry in recent years. After Lebanon took three of the last three, you bet. This one is considered a rivalry now. It is the fight for Highway 5. The Camdenson Lakers come off a 14-10 win over Springfield Parkview in which the Laker defense pitched a shutout in the second half and got the first win in the head coaching career of Jeff Shore. Coach Shore is not alone. He's got four assistants who were all All-State players in high school, all of whom played for Jeff's father, Bob Shore. It's a Laker legacy that is alive and well. The main part is just playing for him and and the Lakers here. And it is it is a special thing and it's hard to describe. You know, he keeps saying it over and over and it sounds kind of cliche, but it's not. It's, it's a special deal. It's a brotherhood and, and it's uh, very exciting. And that's why I think so many guys that have gone to camps have gone on to coach. And then, you know, many of them make it back this way. One thing to watch during the fight for Highway 5 will be the Camdenton offensive line. The Lakers sustained some injuries, and even Coach Jeff Shore wasn't sure who would get the start against the Yellow Jackets. Back to the Tri-County Conference we go, where the Versailles Tigers are 2-0. Yeah. Versailles just quietly goes upon their business and picks up victories. Uh, beat Southern Boone last week. The uh, Tigers rushed for nearly 300 yards, and this week they're hosting Moberly and looking for some revenge after last year's game. It was a blowout loss for Versailles in a game that ended early because of a thunderstorm in the area. One Tiger to watch in particular is junior Colin Lepley, who rushed for 190 yards against Southern Boone and has over 300 for the season. Elsewhere in the Tri-County Conference, Eldon playing a team that it, 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 it beat last year, believe it or not. Yeah, look out. Maybe not necessarily a revenge game, but a statement game. The Mustangs trying to collect their first multi-win season in four years and trying to do it as early as week three after suffering an overtime loss at West Ran last week. If you remember last year, the Hallsville Indians, the team that Eldon beat at Alley Field to snap a 23-game losing streak. Eldon's running the ball very well. Running back Brad Dinwiddie, a senior, already with more than 400 yards on the ground behind that big old Mustangs offensive line. Kai, I'd like to uh, mention a little contest we have going right now at LakeNewsOnline.com. It's a pick against the pros, NFL pick em, where you and I handicap the TV guide and try to figure out who's going to win every NFL game. The fun part is all of our Lake Sun readers get to play against us. Man, we have no NFL experience other than the games we watch. Uh, don't pick the Bengals and hey, best of luck to everyone. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun, so if you'd like to get in on that contest, check it out at lakedewsonline.com under the contest tab. For more on game night, check out lakegamenight.com. Pick up your hard copy of game night in the Thursday Lake Sun. We've got a great slew of games for you this week. We'll see you at the stadium.